directed by Prasanth Neel Salar Part 1 Cease Fire starring rebel star Prabhas Prithviraj Sukumaran and Shruti Hasan in the lead roles is finally released on the big screens as the action thriller hits the theaters we thought this would be the perfect time to give you an overview of all the tribes of Kansar in detail so that you can have the best viewing experience a spoiler warning is in order as we will be discussing essential plot points and character details from the movie but if you are done watching it already let's dive straight into the video and yeah while you're at it please like the video and subscribe to our channel it helps us a lot thank you and let's move on the film is about the three tribes the manarasi tribe the shoringa tribe and the ghaniar tribe who founded the city of kansar the fictional town is governed by the rule book called nibandhan the book is considered sacred and sets out the laws and regulations of the order of kansar according to the book the city should be ruled by each tribe for 40 years after four decades power will pass to the next tribe the manarasi tribe led by shivamanna rules the empire for the first term but when it is to be handed over to the shoringa tribe shivamanna sen rajamanna played by jagapati babu kills the next tribe members entirely to retain the crown when he tries to include his son vardha rajamanna in the inner circle conflict arises between the tribes forcing a ceasefire prithviraj sukumaran has compared kansa to game of thrones and if we go by fan theories it certainly matches the show in this regard At the end of the film we get to see that Vardha tried to hide some gritty facts about the priest from Deva but when he got to see it first hand Deva could not stop himself from killing Vishnu the son of Narang one of the sardars of Rajamanna's court for having his ways with the Mahara women Vardha and his team got arrested including his brother at the trial when Narang tried to kill Vardha Deva killed him the council of ministers voted for and against the ceasefire declaration and finally when both sides got the same number of votes vardha was called to cast his vote and break the tie everyone believed that vardha would vote for the ceasefire because his brother's life was at stake by the orders of radharama but surprisingly he voted for the revocation of the ceasefire and people believed that he was serving his own death sentence but what they didn't know was that he had salar the one man army at his side and Vardha knew that Salar could overcome any obstacle and that no one could stop him from achieving what he wanted. Deva and Vardha together killed hundreds of drug addict cannibal mercenaries of Ranga and showed no sign of stopping. A twist came when Vardha after his victory said that he was not finished yet and now wanted to become Kartha of Kansar replacing his own father. There was greed in his eyes as he said these words and even though Deva was now by his side there was no telling how long this companionship would last Rajmana always knew that the time would come when his own people would rebel against him he knew that violence was in the blood of everyone left in Kansar but the riots took place on a much larger scale and we learned some secrets that could potentially completely change the dynamic of the things First we learned that many members of the Shoranga clan were still alive and had conspired to overthrow Raj's regime. They were waiting for the right opportunity and believed that the time had come for them to move vigorously towards their goal. We also know that Bharwa was secretly a Shoranga and in this scenario he played the role of Shakuni Mama in this Mahabharata of Kansa. Also the relationship between Vardha and Deva felt quite similar to the dynamics of Karna and Duryodhana from Mahabharata. Anyway, at the end of Sala Part 1 Cease Fire, it was revealed that Deva or Devarata Raisani was Dhara's son and the rightful heir to the throne. At the moment, we don't know if he knew about it or not. Of course, it would be a big surprise for him too if he didn't already know. The problem now was that Deva had sworn to protect Vardha and promised to help him sit in the Kartha's chair. However, there was an army of Shorangas led by Bharwa who wanted to burn the entire empire and there were others like Rudra who wanted to take advantage of the situation. In the second part of the franchise, we will find out if Deva keeps his promise or if he changes his mind and takes Kansar back against his own friend. It's possible that a misunderstanding or disagreement caused a rift between the two friends or maybe they had a different opinion and just wanted the world to perceive them as enemies. We would know the truth in Salar part 2, but we are sure that in the end the friends would reconcile and fight together again against anyone who stands in the way. Though there is no conventional post-credit scene, we get to see the title card of the upcoming sequel of the film. It reads Salar Part 2 Shoranga Parvam. The tribe Shoranga are shown to be the most oppressed among all the tribes in Kansar. The name Shoranga suggests that attributes like courage and valor are engraved in their nature. 
The wolf symbol of their tribe suggests that they are inherently eager to stay in a pack. Parvam on the other hand suggests a festival and this is what we might see in the second part. Deva will start a celebration of Vela inside Kansar. Directed by Prashant Neel, Salah Part 1 Ceasefire once again takes you back to the familiar setting of a mythical city that considers itself an independent state and is governed by its own rules and regulations. The film feels like an accumulation of several high adrenaline slow motion scenes and ever fails to hero worship the actor every chance it gets. Prabhas as Salah goes through the entire film with just one expression and leaves the rest to his fans who he knows would root for him even if he just lifts a finger. So many things happen at once in Salah that I eventually lost track of the events and it got to a point where I had to sit down and connect the dots to figure out where the story was going. In a film like Salah, it is very important to create an initial phase and then release the climax which gives you an adrenaline rush. But the problem with this particular film is that it wants to jump from one climax to the next and is therefore unable to achieve the desired effect when it matters most because every other scene is treated like the climactic sequence. The deafening BGM of Ravi Bashrur, the low-light cinematography of Bhuvan Gaura and the choppy editing of Ujwal Kulkarni don't help either. According to me, Prithviraj Sukumaran's talent is wasted in this film. He does not get the equally high moments as Prabhas as the director suggested in several interviews. While the story maintains a decent pace in the first half, the second half could have benefited from more refined storytelling. Some scenes in the second half may evoke some memories of KGF which affects the film's originality. Despite a strong supporting cast, Prashant Neel mainly highlights actors like Jagapati Babu, Bobby Simba, Johnny Vijay and Shriya Reddy, while others like Brahmaji, Jhansi and Shruti Hassan who could play bigger roles in the final part are sidelined. The Ugram derivative failed to impress me and I'm not really interested in the second part for the time being. But I'm definitely impressed by the world building which has never been largely seen in Indian movies. The Game of Thrones like narrative is elevated by the Snyder like charm the film carries within itself. But just like Snyder, Neil failed to make a good film this time. Salad is not bad but I will think twice before watching it again. This is not a typical Telugu movie but a Prashant Neil film made with a Telugu superstar and that's it. Hey hey hey, thank you for watching this video. Do share your thoughts in the comment section about your experience of watching Salar Part 1 Ceasefire in theaters. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to get your weekly dose of cinema series. See you at the next one and for the timing we are signing off. Virkalu, please I kindly request and I'll be back.